What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, codename Agent Danger. And check it out, man. For today's video, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of Shadowland gameplay since I've had a lot of you guys requesting to see more Shadowland. So we're going to take a look at Jubilee once again because of the fact that I've actually been having a lot of fun with her and she's been impressing me more and more. So I'm going to give you guys one final look at my level 60 Jubilee right here on stage 70. Stage 70 against this wave mode right here, the Guardians of the Galaxy wave mode. This is one of the hardest wave modes in the game in my personal opinion and Jubilee is actually so impressive that she can easily cut through this thing with more than enough DPS and she can go basically untouched, right? So I honestly feel like she's a little bit underrated if you ask me. She's actually so fun to play, so good in terms of survivability and DPS. If you guys don't believe me, man, after this, we're going to get her up to level 70 and we're going to take her into World Boss Ultimate and I want to showcase to you guys how well she performs against Thanos as you guys all know Thanos is the most difficult world boss to go up against and Jubilee can do it not only that she can do it well she can go so hard in fact that if you're careful if you're on the ball right you can go untouched virtually untouched with Jubilee and she's able to clear a pretty high stage so that's actually pretty awesome man Jubilee is actually a pretty stellar character and you guys can see right here she She's just easily cutting through all of these guys with relative ease. Like, it's actually a joke, man. And it's all thanks to the fact that her plasmoid skill, like tier 2 passive, no, sorry, not a tier 2 passive. Her 4-star passive can actually be stacked here. It can be applied to these guys. And once you apply it, man, you're getting a constant increase to your DPS. It's kind of like having a leadership, but it's so freaking awesome. I just really wish that they made it apply to world boss ultimate stages because if that was the case, she would be even stronger than I'm going to showcase today, which is absolutely amazing. For a premium character, that's basically the only downside to the character in my opinion she didn't get the full premium treatment her four star passive should have definitely had the ability to apply in world boss ultimate but who knows maybe in the future she'll get a uniform and when she gets a uniform then we'll be talking <laughs> about how much more awesome she becomes because the plasmoid will hopefully now hopefully be able to apply in world boss ultimate so yeah man as you guys can see, she's easily cutting through this. These guys can't even touch her. She's just going from iframe to iframe to iframe to damage immunity back into iframe. And she's just guard breaking these guys into oblivion. For a level 60 character to be performing so well, like so well on stage 70 in Shadowland, this is actually pretty impressive. If you guys run Infinite Shadowland on a weekly basis, you know that once you hit stage 50, stage 55, level 60 characters are not doing that much damage anymore, especially if they don't have a defense down. But thanks to her Plasmode, man, she actually kicks major ass. Took a little while here, but still, baby girl got it done. All right, boys, so I went ahead and I did all of the rank up for Jubilee. Got her up to level 70, looking pretty nice right now. And we're going to run her right here on stage 25 against Thanos without any strikers just to demonstrate that jubilee's damage and survivability is top tier man even though she doesn't have any healing right she's so easy to play and her damage is consistent enough even without the plasmoid effect being able to apply in world boss ultimate that she can get it done boys she can lay the smack down and i absolutely love it i'm going to leave you guys with the rank up at the end along with the build details for those of you guys who want to see that but i wanted to give you guys the gameplay at the beginning of the video just in case that's what you guys are more interested in seeing let me know if that's what you guys prefer or if you'd like to see the building process at the beginning of the video and then the gameplay at the end okay anyways we're experimenting over here boys let me know what you guys prefer i feel like having all the gameplay at the beginning is probably better for most people anyways man oh hold up hold up hold up close it nice nice okay we got coasting with the two-step let's go let's go let's see if we can dodge all of these got it yeah coasting coasting delivery let's get that buff and like i told you guys previously with jubilee you want to make sure that if you're using her with nick fury you don't stand in the um dome when you're using her third skill because nick fury's immunity will override her immunity on her uh, third skill and that will take away your immunity 
prematurely okay so you want to be a little bit careful when you're using nick fury with her but the extra buff to her damage definitely helps in war boss ultimate especially considering this is stage 25 stage 25 is definitely pretty respectable if you guys ask me now let's see what are you gonna do big guy what are you gonna do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do Okay, I'm waiting for him to do that super titan punch of his, but he's playing these. Ooh, there we go. There we go. He was trying to wait for me to go into my third skill so he could try and finesse me and kill me. Nah, bro, I'm the finesse god. What do you think this is? All right, let's see if we can get off. Uh, hold up. Yo, I love the fact that I can move her around when she's in that iframe on her foot. Really, Thanos? You're going to phase right there, bro? Seriously, I was literally like... Five seconds, not even five seconds, like three seconds away from pushing him into this phase right here. So annoying. So annoying. Gotta love Thanos, man. Now we gotta run around that um trap to make sure we don't get time frozen. Yep, we got clipped. It's because I didn't want to get time frozen there. I could have done this without getting hit at all, but it is what it is. The legendary scrub lord at the wheel. What do you guys expect? <laughs> oh, man, but... At least, ooh, I was going to say at least Jubilee didn't take any damage yet, but, uh, uh, hey, man, she can do this without taking damage, just not when I'm playing her because Legendary Scrub Lord, you all know what it is, man. Scrub a dub dub. <laughs> it be like that. Okay, let's not get her killed, though. Okay, what do you do? Why is he just standing there, bro? Come on, use that. No, I don't want you to use that. Actually, you know what? Keep using that so I can push you down. There we go. There we go. Let's get one more buff from Fury after we uh, evade this portion right here. Hold up. Nice, nice. That was that perfect switch right there. Oh, really? This guy waited until I used the buff. Oh, man. He's really trying to, like, mess me up. This guy. Well, we got a minute 31. We should ideally be able to like, okay, let's use the four to move around and then the two and then go right back into the three. Like she's fun to play, man. She's actually fun to play. I love it. And if the plasmoid was able to work in um, World Boss Ultimate, I definitely feel like Baby Girl could easily push up the stage 30 against Thanos. And that is actually woo, hold up, quite impressive if you guys ask me. We're not going to complete this, but I just wanted to showcase it to you guys that Jubilee is actually low-key pretty underrated if you guys ask me. I know she's premium, right? So you guys might have higher like expectations for her but come on man she's actually pretty solid you know what i'm saying doing this well against the mad titan is no joke also boys if you guys want a chance to win 15 dollars and some free crystals all you gotta do is very simple be the first person to answer this question on this particular video okay i recently released a video of myself using goliath tier 2 goliath in shadowland and i soloed a stage with them i believe it was a stage 41 solo let me know how much hp he had left when he completed that solo anyways boys we're gonna jump out of here and i'm gonna leave you guys with the rank up process for jubilee along with the build details all right boys let's see how much it's gonna cost this to get herself a level 70 <laughs> jubilee hopefully it's not as costly as it was with Iceman, because we're gonna go with the 20 percent method like I always say do not try this at home because chances are it's gonna cost you everything and you might not make any progress at all all right, so if you want, like, seriously, just to get it done and be over with it, go with 100%. Don't blame me if you get destroyed like I'm getting destroyed right now. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. Okay. So, so far, it's looking exactly the same. <laughs> I was hoping that, you know, we could get a little bit more luck than we got last time. But no, man, same deal, same deal. So trying to be cheap, it's, it's painful, boys. It's painful. Damn. Okay. We're losing a lot of materials, man. Hold up. We're going to go exactly 20 on the dot. Okay. I can't go 20 on the dot. We're, yeah, we're losing. We're, <laughs> we're losing like a mother. Holy. Yeah, man, I think this is probably the last mutant that I'm going to use this 20% way because it doesn't look like it works, man. It worked out pretty nicely with Jean Grey, but I think that was just a one-time thing. You know what I'm saying? I think it was just a one-time thing, man. We got lucky with Jean, and 
I thought, you know, we could milk this gravy train all the way to the final destination. But it looks like it was a one stop, man. It was a one stop to uh, level 70, year 25, tier 3 Jean Grey. And that was the end of that train, baby. Woo! Hello. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? It looks like, you know what? Let me, let me not. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not. Black Widow? Sure. Why not? Let's get rid of some of those Widow bios. As long as we keep a uh, 1,000 or close to a 1,000 on hand, we Gucci. But like, come on, can we get some luck here as well? Or are we going to go right back into that uh, that little slump that we were in for the first one? It's crazy that I failed so many times on the first one that we got the second one in one try. All right, but I'm happy with that. Can we keep getting it in one shot? That will be amazing. But okay, that's like living in a dream world. This is reality. And reality... <laughs> as Thano says it's often very disappointing my friends <laughs> it is often very disappointing chances are we're gonna run out of materials and not even get this watch not necessarily this level but i mean just get the level 70 process done Jeez, we're gonna keep going with a 20%, 20%, 20%. Come on, come on, come on. We started with 20. Let's see if we can. Nope. Finish with 20. We're down to 587 M Crown crystals. Let's switch over to feathers for a little bit here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do her gears. Well, not today, but like, or whew, my goodness, for a little while, but I still would like to save a little bit of feathers. But. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna save Jack. There we go. Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Sue, thank you for your services. You're an amazing striker, an amazing character overall, but them bios gotta go, we hungry, baby. All right, we almost there, we almost there. Can we get this in one shot? Come on, I put an extra 8% in. Well, not 8%, 0.8%. <laughs> That's like the chance of getting a CTP. Come on, come on. If it works for Netmarble, can it not work for me? You know what I'm saying? A 0.8% chance is enough for people to spend their hard-earned cash. Why is it not enough for me to... <laughs> Why is it not enough for me to get a damn roll? Oh, my goodness. And get me a level 68 Jubilee. Come on, man. Oh, it's not fair. But life is never fair. It's an uphill battle. And we're constantly losing. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to go half the... F oh my goodness. I really don't want to go farm more resources. I just want to get it done with what we have. We started with just over 4,000. Like total. Alright. There we go. Thank you. We're on the last one, boys. Um, Who do we want to get rid of? None of the Sinister Six. That's for sure. I can get rid of some of the Storm Bios. But you know what? Let's not do that because I love Storm. Um, who do we want to get rid of? Jane? Love you, Jane, but you useless to me. Still be meaning to do a video on Jane Foster because I recently got her up to tier 2. And I've never actually soloed anything. Ooh, I'm out of uh, materials here. Okay. Anyways, I've never actually soloed anything or cleared any piece of content with her at all in the game. And I'd like to change that because you guys know I have a personal list. I haven't spoken about it in a while, but I have a personal list of characters that I've never been able to complete anything with in Marvel Future Fight. And I'd like to... Woo! Beautiful! Absolutely beautiful. So she ended up being cheaper than Iceman. Hello! Thank you, Jubilee! Oh my goodness. All right. So that means we have a little bit left over. It means we can go back to working on Bishop. I'm at 64 right now. I know I didn't share that part of the process with you guys. But yeah, man. We got ourselves a level 70 Jubilee. And she's rocking 22,922 hey that's nice that's nice so we got 23 wow so it's crazy because iceman has more attack and hp than jubilee that's actually crazy and she's a premium like hard premium he's a soft premium because you can get him for crystals her you can only get for cash boys i'll show y'all the build here real quickly i hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay with her and yeah man if there's anything else you guys want to see out of baby girl hit me in the comments smash that like button you know the drill man 149 in the world we were actually at one point as high as 25 in the world and ideally i'd like to um push with her a little bit more right but i think there's a ranking event oh it's actually going on right now so let me see oh it's feathers see if it was for crystals i might actually try harder right but for oh that's for bishop this is for oh 
nah i'm just gonna stay in the one percent bracket and collect this it's not even worth it to push that high just to get like i could get back into the top 50 like if i really tried two star awaken three nah man it's not worth it. it's not worth it it's not worth it i'd have to get her gears to like 24 minimum and then i'd have to awaken all this with far from home or oh, around the corner nah it's not something i want to do right now but anyways boys hit me up in the comments smash that like button let me know what you guys think of jubilee overall and if there's anything else you guys want to see with her you know what to do man i'll catch y'all in the next one peace level 70 jubilee in the building loving it